everybody. So for those of you that don't know me, my name's Michelle and I work for Sport and Wellbeing at the University of Southampton. And today we're just going to chat a little bit about life with an injury, particularly at the moment when a lot of us are really isolated. So a bit of a backstory about me currently. Prior to Sport and Wellbeing closing via government recommendation, I was already signed off work for about two and a half weeks with an injury that I sustained. Now, going from a really active lifestyle, really active working life, being able to drive, go to the leisure centre, all of those sorts of things, and suddenly having an injury to my hand, in actual fact, it was a big shock to the system. I suddenly found myself in a position where I couldn't drive, I couldn't swim, I couldn't go to work, and suddenly I'd gone from almost having everything to feeling like I had nothing all overnight. But that wasn't the be all and end all. It's very important to find ways to keep yourself focused and find alternative ways to make sure you remain fit and healthy, not just in the physical sense, but in the mental, mental sense as well. So first of all, we'll talk about typical emotions you might feel when you're dealing with an injury, whether that's a new injury or an ongoing one that you're having to battle with. So initially you tend to feel some sort of denial about your injury so again relating it back to my experience when it first happened I thought no 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 like it, it can't be that bad it's, it's it's just the outside of my hand I'll still be able to go to the gym I'll find ways to deal with it I'll still be able to drive the car no worries I'm, I'm going to still live life the way it was and that was not the best way to think and when I soon transitioned into the next phase of thinking when I actually realised that no I am injured and this is really going to impair how I live my life you then go into this phase of feeling angry you feel like why has this happened to me this wasn't my fault I don't deserve this and you just get very stuck in the rut and you almost go into a stage of what you could call depression where you just sit back and say there's nothing I can do about this life's over and yeah you really need to find a way to take yourself out of that so the most important thing that we will then move on to talk about now is acceptance Accept that, yes, this injury is going to change things, but hopefully it's not permanent. And there are ways in the meantime of really dealing with that and learning to accept it. So a few top tips from me. First of all, learn about your injury as much as you can on exactly where it is, what it is. Things you can do to, to make it better, certain physio exercises, any different types of exercises. The more you know about it, the more you have the skills to be able to work on it and hopefully set yourself down that path onto the road of recovery. Moving on from that, another tip is to really accept responsibility for your injury. That's not to say that the injury was your fault, it's to say that your outcome is very much determined by you. So the work you put in to get yourself better, the better and possibly even sooner the outcome will be. I have to do physio on my hand three times a day currently. I'm having to do that on my own because we're on lockdown and it is tedious. You feel like you have all the time in the day, but somehow you still don't fit it in and you don't want to sometimes because you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. But you need to remind yourself that it is really important and the more you neglect it or put it off, the worse or longer your recovery time is going to be. So really accept responsibility for your injury. Next thing, easier said than done, but have a positive attitude as much as you can. Okay, so 
it's very much proven that if you have a negative mindset, there will be negative outcomes. So really look at it like a challenge rather than a crisis. Think, okay, so there may be new ways I need to start keeping fit or training and really use it as a hurdle to get over, okay? Set goals. That doesn't mean to say that just because you're injured, you can no longer work on goals you already were and you can always set new ones. So as an example, I currently cannot do any kind of weight training whatsoever. So currently my strength is dropping off a little bit, but I'm using that time to be able to focus on either other areas of my body or other elements which will keep me fit and healthy. So. I'm able to do cardio, I can go out in the garden and do Zumba and dance, so that's a really good way of keeping me fit and mentally healthy. I can also work on things such as flexibility because I can still do a basic warm up and then do lots and lots of stretching and that has no negative impact on my hand whatsoever. So find ways around it and work on other components of your fitness while you're dealing with your injury, okay? And again, similar thing, find alternatives. So as an example, we're currently doing classes such as, you know, core and hit and things like that. So during those times, get creative, try and find alternative ways of doing exercises if you're going to join in with the classes, okay? It is doable. And you can always join in with our Does You Good coach if you yourself are dealing with any kind of injury and you want a little bit of basic advice to say, I'm currently struggling in the hip classes. Is there any alternatives to exercises I may be able to do because I have an injury here? Then any of us should be able to give you basic advice on other things you can do during those classes. OK, and finally, make sure you have networks for support okay so they may come in forms of doctors or specialists for your injury it may come in the form of a physio who does your programs keeps in touch with you about your progress most importantly friends family and colleagues i know that's difficult in this current climate because they may not all be around and you can't see them but that doesn't mean you can't reach out to them i've had multiple colleagues at the moment keep in touch with me checking in with me, how my injury is going, how my recovery is going. And that is really, really positive for me. And it has more value than you can even realize. So there we go. So some top tips about how to deal with an injury, particularly while you're stuck at home. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with us guys. It does you good, Twitter, Facebook, we want to help you all. So. Please remember to stay home, stay safe where you can, and I hope to see some of you soon. Bye!